I teamed up with a group of awesome designers to bring you the biggest tips on how to increase your prices as a graphic designer. The tips we are going to share in this video are on the perspective that we all have different levels of experience and we will share exactly what worked for us. So I'm super excited about this video because I've got these awesome designers to share really good tips on how to raise your prices and so you won't suck when increasing your prices or charging for the services you render. This is huge and this video is one of the videos I've always wanted to create in a while because when i started design at first i sucked especially when it has to do with pricing or charging when i started out as a graphic designer i was designing for fun the idea was to advance my skill set and increase my client base in the process however i sucked at pricing but with time i adjusted up to this point i'm still adjusting even to the future, I will keep adjusting my prices. One thing I will let you know is that increasing your prices is normal, but that is if you are doing it the right way. And never be afraid of losing clients in the process. Of course, I've lost so many clients due to increments in prices, but it's fine. So by making this video, we hope that we can use our experience to help you increase your prices for any design service you offer and so you won't do it the wrong way also in the description you'll find links to all these designers so guys make sure you head over to their channel after you finish watching these videos because they have awesome content on their channel and they are very amazing they have super cool content if you love the content you see on this channel then you will definitely love the content on their channels comment i am an awesome designer below if you really want to take yourself to the next level the first to speak to you in my list is kata graphics manuel Take it from here. Hello, good evening and welcome back. My name is Manuel, founder of Kata Graphics and Kata Graphics Academy. So today I'm so excited to be invited by Josh to speak a little more about price increments, okay? Um, this is very tough topic to talk about, but I think I'm gonna try my best to break mine down bit by bit. I'm not gonna waste much time talking about uh, the history of how I came to this point and stuff like that. But I'm just trying to pick out some points so that you guys will understand how to make yours work because what might work yesterday might not be actually what works today. Okay, the price increment formula that works the past uh, few years might not be uh functional in this current dispensation so i would like to judge i wouldn't like to judge i would like to put my uh, uh assertion from a perspective of um uh, drawing things in from the past and the future bringing them together and trying to make out a point that might interest you or might um be of a help so first i started my price increment no actually when i started the business i started my price increment way back beyond uh 215 and that was when I realized I got too much inflows of clients, okay? And that was uh, as a result of a couple of advertisements I run. Then Instagram wasn't a thing, okay? It was just Facebook page all, all, all along. If you can check on my Facebook page, you see the amount of followers there. And that will make you understand how far we have been. So it's been something I've been struggling to posting on a daily basis, trying to run ads, then run ad weekly and i get good clients i try to impress them and make them happy and as clients get happy they get their brothers and so on i would like to judge this lecture based on client plurality most of my clients are based in a, a country outside nigeria so i would like to see my price earlier on for logo design when i started uh charging foreign clients was around 30 dollars and that wasn't too much and it wasn't too less for me but i got to start increasing my price because of two reasons okay number one reason why i increased my price was because there was too much of population so when you realize that too much of people are seeking for your services you got to increase your price because you you're not increasing the price because you want to charge everybody uh, at that high rate you want to increase your price so you can only attract people who are serious for the kind of service and the kind of value you are ready to deliver you understand so um for instance uh most clients might want to do business with you at a certain price probably 30 dollars 40 dollars or so but the stress they are going to bring might be beyond uh, 100 200 dollars so 
uh, with that price increment, it made it very easier for me to separate the wheat from the tars. Okay, it was very easy for me to uh, say, okay, this client is actually for me, and this client, I think I have to sack you. I have worked with many clients in the past, and I, I as I increase the price, I, I give general notifications to them, so everybody was aware of the new price increment. People who were ready to work with me, they continued to work with they left, and as I realized, I have fewer clients. I have to run more ad with my current prices and I got more clients, okay? And when I wanted to increase the price, I don't just go from $50 to $100, okay? You got to increase your price gradually, okay? You could go from 40 to 50, 55, 60, and so on. You don't just wake up one morning and uh, double the price you charge for your services, no. Um, when you want to charge for something, you be ready to provide value. For that okay when you are when you're acting and increment your price it's not just because you have too much inflows of clients and then you just increase your price no you got to be ready to provide a justification for your price increment what i mean by that is when you tell someone you are increasing your price now you are serving them the same thing you are serving them previously and nothing changes that makes no sense to them okay you end up losing all your clients okay so what i did then was when i increased my price i let my new client know that we added a new feature and this new feature was what i called it i tagged it then uh, logo presentation and the other one after that the next update was uh logo illustration the illustration will show the client uh this is how this logo was created this piece by piece before you start seeing other stuffs online I haven't seen stuff like that before, like too regular, too popular, but I have to create my own kind of concept and I think I am very happy it went too far, it went so far helping me and my clients too and other students who learned from there. So as, as soon as I'm adding new uh, price list, I am adding new value, okay? As I'm adding new price list, I'm adding new value. So like I said earlier, changes doesn't happen in a twinkle of an eye okay for change to happen for change to be applied you need to go through processes so you don't just wake up one morning and you and you and you realize that you have superpowers you can make uh stuff you can't make in the previous day that's not possible okay in this business of design you grow gradually okay when you learn when you build when you practice perseverance and stuff like that you see you grow gradually and when you grow you 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 will be able to add uh in prices and your clients won't question you okay so one of which way which i increased my price was actually to add value to what i'm giving to my clients so by so doing it is now easy for me to convince my client that okay these new features we added is the reason why we are adding the price increment some of the client might say we don't need that new feature we say no it's our policy and we give it out for security reasons sometimes uh logo documentation i added that to i increased the price on that so i i went from 50 i went from 30 to 40 50 <clears throat> i went to 200 i thought it was last time uh, in the last stage when i realized that that wasn't the last stage of the price for logo design was when i was paid about 220 something pounds not not dollars for just a logo it's a very simple logo that was just like a wordmark logo and it was it was so down on me and i realized that this was so much okay to charge and the service you are giving as long as you are providing these values so number two point is when you want to increase your price make sure you have a lot of content okay to prove yourself now when you're sending out your portfolio to your clients and you have a couple of content like 10 20 clients scroll down and get to the end they get fed up they get tired you need to feed them with quality content and more of those quality content in the sense that the more they keep scrolling they get they get tired of scrolling not because they get tired or get sick of your design but because they see that you have justified them enough so number one make sure you provide value your value system should be top notch number two make sure your portfolio is filled with quality content and number three which is the last is if you want to increase your price in a way you just could could add multiple packages like what i did back then also was also to add um uh, logo design i say okay i'll be adding the next package animation i'll be adding another package uh, for business cards, stationaries, and stuff like that. So I'll make a logo for you, I'll add a business card, I'll add an animation, I'll say, okay, the price now is $150 for this, and this one is $100 if you just want the logo, okay? The logo with all these features, $100. I have a price 
table. Anyone telling you price table doesn't work is a liar. I closed so many deals with my price tables. So I have this price table, I, it was three and I noticed it was complicated. So I just have to break it down into two and increase my price. It was three, one was $70, the other was 100 and the, the, the next was $150. So I have to scrap the one, uh, $70 and go with 100 and 150. Added all features from 70 to 100 and just made them very simple. What the difference between 150 and 100 was the animation. Okay, the animation was practically $50, $50, okay? So that was the price then, and it go on and on and on, and you, you realize the clients, we are satisfied with it, and they will be able to choose from two prizes, and uh, people like when they make choices, okay? Not just choices, people like when they make quality choices. I realize when you have three prize lists, it becomes difficult for them to choose because no one wants to go for the last one, but they want you to give them the second or the first one at the price of the last one. You understand? So that's why I went with two. So you either choose this or you just choose this. So those are just the three points that helped me scale my price. It's a very simple thing to do. Now, talking about the past and now, because we are not just gonna justify the past, what happened in the past could be for the past and what happened in the future could be for the future. But I would like you to understand that um there are there are there are policies or there are rules that works eternally okay there are policies and rules that work eternally all you need to do is this what you need to do is this go through the points i listed i'm going to recap again go through the points and check if anyone is going to work for you anyone suits or fits your niche okay at your stage every designer have a stage okay you don't expect to be earning like a professional if you are a beginner you, you get a point so don't expect to just get into the market start designing and start earning large or start, start getting foreign clients it doesn't work like that it's not magic okay so it's something that have to take you the pro you have to go through the process before you meet quality clients you need to make quality contents okay before you meet quality clients you need to add quality values okay before you meet quality clients you also need to add multiple more features or multiple more value system okay so that they'll be able to choose okay this particular package i think i like this one this package i like this one package I like. by so doing it's easy for you to increase your price and charge more for that once again my name is manuel i hope you enjoyed this clip now i just want to take you back to katas when he was talking about growing gradually so don't expect everything to happen with a twinkle of an eye from experience those that come into the industry and immediately start agitating for high payment usually don't last long in the industry and they usually don't expand in their design business because they are doing it for money and they are doing it the wrong way so grow gradually and increase gradually and make yourself valuable too so clients won't pay for what they don't get before we move to the next one i have to bring something to your notice you probably have always wanted to learn web design but don't know where to start don't worry, I have the solution. Kata Graphics Academy has one of the best web design course on the internet. I bet you, you can't find a course like this anywhere else. This is not your regular web design course you see everywhere on the internet and not those ones with almighty time wasting codes. Yeah, codes. <laughs> All I mean is your ability to build and style various web elements yourself right in front of you here are a few features of this course 30 plus hours of premium videos a dedicated personal dashboard to enable you learn and submit assessment at your own free time you don't need to buy a domain or host to practice with we provide you all that you get lifetime access to course content six months of mentorship upon purchase you get a certificate of completion and finally they show you how to make money with your new skill isn't that interesting look guys you can't afford to miss this head on to the description where you see my affiliate link to purchase the course and they gave me a discount code so you get 10 percent discount when you purchase with my link once that is done you are on your way to being a web designer congrats next on my list is gym graphics gym let's hear from you all right my name is jim if you're meeting me for the first time my name is jim graphics all right so uh, i believe all of us are here to make money and i believe we are here to step up our game as a graphic designer all right so um the thing is if pure water can rise from 10 to 20 now 
I believe you can also write as a graphic designer. All right. Why am I saying this? I've seen some designers who, who you know, um, they are just there. Let's just design. Let's just design. Okay. Stop it. All right. Stop it. So you can't just be there and show what I'm realizing. Why? <laughs> You can just be where you are and play what I'm realizing and you're still there. No, no. You have to step up your game, guys. You know? You have to step up your game. If a product moves from one hand to another, it appreciates in price. For instance, if you're buying this pen from a manufacturer for $10, you are to sell to your own customers for $20, making a gain of $10. Simple arithmetic. You understand? There's no two ways about this. You're here to make money. If you're okay with where your life is, like where you are, where the condition where you are, if you're okay with it, fine, you can keep charging what you're charging as a graphic designer. Yes, I believe that some of you might be scared of, you know, um, losing customers. Okay, if I charge higher, my customer will go and I will not be able to work for that customer again. Yes, let the customer go. But you don't chase, I'm not telling you to chase away your customers. Don't quote me. Don't chase away your customers. But there are ways you can do this politely, in a polite way. Alright? You can send out an email if you have your email, uh, your customer's email. Alright? You can just tell them, customize an email. Okay, due to so and so, um, we are actually. Um, there will be an increase of price. Please be here with us and um, we look forward to work with you. Something polite and nice, you know? Put it to them. So when they are coming back, you know that, okay, it's no longer what we paid for before. All right, we are paying for um, something else. Maybe and there will be an increase in price this time around. You understand? So there is this formula which I always use to charge my customers whenever they come to since I, I start design since I start since I start doing graphic design you understand I've seen designers that they just want to design you get a customer and you tell the customer okay I want to do a flyer your flyer charges are 50,000 and the, um, the customer will be like okay I have somebody that does it and you discharge the customer you say okay you don't want to do it to yourself, you don't want to do it because the customer don't, is not willing to pay. And you see a designer that is doing that job, that particular job, 5,000 naira. Why? Well, I'm seeing ourselves as the problem. We are the problem. I don't actually have much time because I want to give you guys this specific formula which will help you guys step up your game. Just follow this step I'm going to give you, this particular step. It's gonna help you grow and don't be scared if you want to follow this formula please number one don't be afraid to lose customers don't be scared to lose any customer all right don't be scared of losing any customer yes your customer pays you they're the one that pays your bills yes but you, you can't keep being from level one for 10 years five years two years you're still there charging two thousand naira. 2500 naira. That's why these customers are used to. Is it not 2k? Is it not 2.5? Is it not this? You understand? You shouldn't do that. Look at your um, your uh, your time. You subscribe for softwares. You fix your laptops when it's um, when it's bad. You understand? You fix all those things. This all these things cost money. So now, if you want to charge the customer, you don't charge based on what the customer is bringing to the table. You charge based on value. You charge value, not the product. Do you understand? You charge the value of that product. As far as you are, even though it's pin, you want to design for that person. Pin, just a dot. Charge for it. It's your time. It's your resources. Alright? Charge for it. Don't be scared of charging. All right, don't be scared of charging clients. Now, this is the formula I want to show you guys. All right, I call it plus one formula. If the customer, if Mr. A is coming to you for um, a project, okay, Mr. A is coming with the logo project. All right, 
and you are so you 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 um finally and uh, successfully accomplish that project for um ten thousand dollars all right if mr b is coming to you okay mr b sees the job and be like oh wow i love this job or he didn't even see it at all he was referred by mr a to you now if mr b is coming to you with that same particular project logo you're charging mr a ten thousand dollars yes i'm going to charge mr b twenty thousand dollars you don't have a fixed price as a graphic designer i'm telling you that don't always be like okay how much is your, um, your flyer design Ma, my flyer is 2k tomorrow uh, another one comes my flyer is 2k no if you're charging 2k and another person comes that's 3,000 3, if another person comes charge higher and if you ask you why tell them that there is child this uh, change in price there's always tell them there's change in price I'm exhausting my time already so guys like I said do not stick to where you are don't be scared to lose customers the plus one formula which I just gave to you guys this will actually work for you guys all right if they don't want to pay you don't um, rush it if any customer don't want to pay you don't rush it don't go back and be like hey uh, boss um, I have not you've not gotten back to me blah 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 blah, blah. all right and lest I forget always charge with invoice I always tell them I'll get back to you with an invoice all right and you have to ask some questions pertaining that project what is it for what is the flyer going to be used for um what brand are you working with you know all these things should come to your mind and with that you should be able to charge for the project all right so guys we still have a lot to talk but for the sake of time i'm going to stop here and peace out shout out to daniel creative thank you guys for allowing me talk on this particular topic out and that was a great one from jim and talking about the plus one formula you should always increase your prices for every new set of clients with time you don't have to have a stable price as a designer every new client equals plus one increment you know some clients you will never want to lose will feel so reluctant to pay your new price just apply it to the next client especially when the client is a very valuable client you don't have to chase them away with price increments one big tip you should know is clients who sees you as the next option and probably those ones that have lots of other designers will surely get tired of working with you when you increase your prices and yes they are the type of clients you should let go the next one is from ekd ekd come in hi there it's ekd and um i'm a brand identity designer actually and i've been designing since 2010. i think you should do the calculation so you know i have little experience all right so when i started designing um i think i was just doing it for passion all right so at first it was just free <laughs> imagine me designing for people free designing for people free it took another level i started receiving peanuts peanuts here and there but you know the first time you start something you're just doing it for passion i do not see that as a bad thing it gets to a stage where you just feel that things are not measuring up all right um the pay is not measuring up to the value you have i think you yourself you've talked about it. that's why you're watching this video so i would like to give you in few minutes these three steps that i used in increasing my prices from peanuts to a few thousands all right i don't do call i don't do um, I don't know if sound intimidating, so I'll just say a few thousand, all right? Just give me attention, all right? So the first thing is that you have to increase value. You know what? I'm not a fan of not being competent and then trying to increase your price. Most people will say, okay, just increase your price. Maybe you're charging $5, increase it to $100. Increase it to $100. But I don't feel, I'm not a fan, I'm not of the opinion that you should increase your price when you are not competent, all right? So as the first thing you want to do is that you want to grow yourself. But at any level we still need to learn even me i'm still learning i'm still learning more so the more i increase my value the more tendency i have to increase my price all right that's what i go with when you start getting acquainted with different latest softwares latest way of doing things by doing that you are doing something to your price so the first you want to do be competent enough increase your value strive to do that i started increasing my value i started learning about the new things the new um skill sets to every day you just try to increase your 
value. All right. That's the first thing. While the second thing is fixed perception. So what do I mean by fixed perception? You get to make people see you as valuable or not. All right. This is applicable to all the areas of life, but relating to design. All right. You you make your client see that you have value. Sometimes you might have value, you might be very competent, competent, but the way you put yourself out there, the, the, the perception people have of you is that you don't have value. So there's something you can do to um, your clients to make them see you as valuable, all right? And it's something you do intentionally, all right? I'm gonna give you a simple example so you just know what I'm talking about. For instance, some persons tend to pursue clients, tend to pursue them. I know that's what to do. Even me, I made that mistake before, but I've, I've, um, I've learned my lesson. You don't pursue clients, all right? Even if you do it, you do it indirectly. You don't go there, please design this thing. You go to people's DM, design this thing. Design. What you should do is to place your design out there to get them to, to, to see the need and they will make demand for, for it. But you going out there to meet them, oh, you want to design, send DMs, I don't think they see you as somebody that is, is just wants the money. I'm, most of the times they might just give you the work and they'll just give you peanuts all right but when you put yourself out there just put your work nobody's saying you should not put your work just put your work and let them make demand for it all right i know it's not easy it's not easy especially when you need the money it's not easy but it's for a season it's for a season and you see that it will start paying off all right and another thing is that people tend to to downplay excellence all right the way you package yourself most times you want to um a client is asking for a portfolio and you're sending pictures, sending pictures, sending pictures, sending pictures. When you want to give them price, they won't. You should have everything done. You should have your price list. You should have a portfolio, maybe even, even if not um, um, a custom, maybe a portfolio with custom address. You can use all those softwares like Beans to just create your portfolio so they know you are ready. So when they say, I need a work, you send them your portfolio. Just seeing the way you present your work alone, that gives them the perception that this guy um, is, is, is worth something. All right, so you should intentionally do it. And lastly, you want to actually increase your price. Notice that I didn't mention this first because the first two things, if you can do them, your prices will automatically just adjust. Before these guys come to mention you, they've seen your work, they've seen, they've seen the way you package yourself, they've seen that these guys are value. So when they are coming, they have that mind, they are coming to pay something. Sometimes you might just have to consciously do it. That's increasing your price, all right? You might say you are charging $5 and maybe you increase it, but I will advise you to do it in a curve. All right, don't just jump from five dollar to hundred dollar. Do it in a curve. You move, all right. You move five dollar, maybe fifteen from fifteen twenty five from twenty five. You increase maybe to fifty like that, and you see that one day you be charging thousand dollars like, like some other persons. So it's a process. I hope you learned something. And lastly, I want to give a very candid advice. All right, to, to you guys. So one thing is that don't be on that pressure because I know some persons might. That's why I didn't mention the amount I charge. All right. Some person might just put out that they're receiving thousand dollars, receiving two thousand dollars. They're charging thousand dollars for a design, for a flyer. They're charging this, charging that. But do not be intimidated, all right? Do not be intimidated. It might actually be that when those guys were at your level, they were charging something lesser than what you are charging right now. So it means you are actually doing better than us, all right? The more I increase my value, the more tendency I have to increase my price. That's one big point I took from EKD. The question is, how do you increase your value? And the simple answer is, never stop learning and improving your design skill. Aim to work like a professional and you will earn like a professional. Don't charge what you are not worth. Most people charge high prices even when it's very obvious that their skill set is not valuable enough. You have to put it very clear by showing how competent you are. Let me tell you how easy it is to know a competent designer and the ones that are just after money. Take for instance clothes you buy from designers and that of okay clothes or the ones you get from a thrift store. Designers like Louis Vuitton will last long and the colors look bright every day and that of okay washes out warms out every day and it will be less value that's the clear difference and the same way people spot these things is the same way people spot competent designers and less competent designers last but not the least is mess graphics take it from here hello guys i'm mess graphics i'm a graphic designer and a youtuber and i've been in the creative industry for the past six years and it's actually been nice for me because I've been able to experience many things and I've been able to go through 
many challenges that have helped me get to the level that I am. So uh, starting out as a graphic designer, I didn't have um, the knowledge. I didn't have the skill. I didn't have the value to offer as a graphic designer. I just was answering the title of a graphic designer without even knowing what it meant. So what that did for me is that it put me into many problems. And I'm actually very, very grateful to God because learning from those experiences and those challenges was, uh, is actually what's, um, what made me who I am today. So even uh, in your journey as a graphic designer, there will be times when you get to um, face different challenges. Don't worry about those challenges. Those are things that will make you stand out in the creative industry. Three ways you can increase your pricing as a graphic designer. So first, build value. So many people don't understand what I mean by this. Actually, as a graphic designer, you should be value-oriented, not profit-oriented. Most of the upcoming designers we have today are very, very much um, obsessed with making much profit. And what you notice, whenever you're obsessed with making profit, you actually don't pay attention to the area of skill and value. And um, people are willing to pay for what they can see that has a greater value than what doesn't have value. So that's the mistake we make most times as graphic designers. We always try our best to focus on how much we are going to get rather than what value we are able to give. And the higher the value you get as a graphic designer, the much easier it is for you to get customers. And also the more easier it is for you to increase your price as a graphic designer. Number two, increase your confidence. Have faith in yourself. The reason why most of us can't actually um, meet clients or tell clients our price list is because of we don't have confidence in ourselves. And before you convince someone to pay you a particular amount as a graphic designer, you need to make sure that you are determined and you know it in yourself that you are worth that price. So it's always good for you to know your worth as a graphic designer. Once you know I have the skill and I have um, much more value to give to my client. So have confidence in yourself. Some of us feel like, why should I charge somebody 100k for a design? I don't deserve it. No. If you don't think you deserve it, you cannot convince someone else that you deserve it. So what's the third uh, point? The third point is um, branding. This issue is actually very, very um, obvious for many graphic designers. The way you tell um, a customer your price determines on the respect he has for you some of us come when they grab uh, when a client just tells you um i need um something or i need a flyer or i need a logo and you just go ahead and set the person price like you don't even show somebody that you are like a brand that has um something you are trying to portray that's why i would advise every graphic designer to have a portfolio it's actually very very important to have a portfolio as a graphic designer so that Whenever the person sees your portfolio and sees your invoice, another thing you need to have as a graphic designer is invoice. So that when that person sees your invoice and your um, portfolio, the person knows that I'm working with someone that has um, something to bring to the table. Don't always show your customer that you don't have anything to bring to the table. Because that's what many uh, graphic designers do. They ask you, okay, design a logo for us or design something for us. And you just send them. Um, just send the price and you don't even attach it in a way that that person gives respect to it. The person just be like, ah, okay, 100,000. So your presentation matters. The way you present yourself um, actually determines how much you are going to be paid as a graphic designer. So don't present yourself as somebody that doesn't know what he's doing. Present yourself as somebody that knows that he's doing something right and um, he has something to offer. So these are the three things you need to do to work on yourself as a graphic designer to increase your prices. So for me, starting as a graphic designer, started a graphic designer, um, that was 2016. So I didn't have the skill. I was just a young boy that came out from secondary school. And I was looking for something to do uh, that would give me profit. So basically that time I was, um, I was bent on making money rather than giving out value. So what I noticed was that I can remember the client I had one of those days, um, I took money from him and I did the design for him. So he was like, wow, so this is what I paid you for. What's, the, what's this rubbish? I even show you a graphic designer. So he threatened to arrest me, he even threatened to, um, to take me to prison, all that stuff. So what I noticed was that um, I didn't actually have uh, the value to stand out as a graphic designer. So what did I do? I had to give myself two years of, um, like, like I had to give myself two years of uh, in-depth training I had to go back to YouTube, I had to go back to um, um, different channels to watch and to learn how I can be better as a graphic designer. So I gave myself that two years break to actually understand how I can give value. So design is all about value. Uh, whenever you show someone that you can give a high level of value, that person gets 
much more excited to work with you and also to pay you much. So that's what you need to do uh, to increase your pricing as a graphic designer. Thank you guys. From Ms. Graphics last tip, the overall branding of your personality matters a lot when it comes to increments in prices. You have to place yourself like a business to gain the approval you deserve. Those little things like logos, invoice, price table and portfolio makes it very clear for clients to see that you are worth more. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this long video. However, I hope it was helpful. Yes, I believe so. Click on this video and watch these 5 tips I and Keta shared previously. See you in the next video. Peace.